and action. I was learning, I called it living in the rat race, and I thought I was winning, but I could not get out of the fast lane. I was bone dry, mud in your eye, cross my heart and hope to die. It's something, it's something that um, continues that family friendly, wholesome entertainment um, that hopefully you can enjoy as a family. And uh, there's some great lessons and great stories and great characters uh, that I think you'll be able to uh, really just come alongside and, and watch these characters flourish, follow the story, and see where it ends. Shot eyes, blinded by the sunrise, and something took me by surprise. And now I'm There's some shenanigans that goes on behind the scenes. How do you do? May I have this day? Father walking and talking, holding your hand. I know there's other classic films like The Godfather and Apocalypse Now, but this is Mayberry Man, seriously. Take a look at the mailbag while we're waiting here. Oh, uh, yeah. Something from the state controller office. That can't be good. And look, we've got our Medicare prescription numbers, so I can finally get me a little bit of those antistatins for my high cholesterol. Oh, it's real! It's going to be an amazing show. They're going to laugh and chuckle and uh, and have a good time. I'm a Mayberry man. Small town life, small town characters, the humor in the small things that people do every day, and the love they have for one another. And that is the star. Not a script, not a set, not a bedazzling special effect, but the people. And, and that's something that I think, you know, we need to get back to is the importance of people, just the love of people. And this, this does that. I just hope that everyone falls in love with this project like I did and that we can continue to make family-friendly entertainment that's obviously much needed. I guarantee this, if you love the Andy Griffith show, you're going to love Mayberry Man. Hey, and welcome, Alan. Thanks for joining us again. How are you today? Glad to be here. So good to be back in Mayberry. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got some special guests tonight. We'll get to them in just a moment. But uh, I, first, I really wanted to say a, a quick thank you to the folks that are supporting our marketing and distribution fund. Uh, we mentioned last week, we're kind of trying to raise a few more bucks so we can help spread the word about Mayberry Man, the series, which is coming out we think in May. Uh, we're still waiting on the official release date, um, but we do have a little fundraiser going at MayberryManSeries.com, and uh, we're making a little progress. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but um, I want to say thank you to uh, the folks that have jumped in and pitched in a little bit. Uh, there's actually been another name since I, I created this graphic, so thank you folks for pitching in, and um, I like to say that you know, our, our marketing is very cost effective. I don't know if I've told you this, uh, Alan, but uh, $10 can actually help us reach over 2,500 people on Facebook. Wow. Yeah, that, that's great. So that, that's why I say, you know, any amount can help. Um, you know, we can't do this without you guys. We couldn't make the show and this, the movie without you guys. So this is kind of a, just a community effort, uh, you know. So we're asking for your help again. Uh, sorry, but that's the reality of of the film biz. 
Yeah, right. This is the uh, the underprivileged children's drive is what we're trying to <laughs> you know. So three cents, anything helps. So it does. So I was doing some math, and um, you know, there's over a million Andy Griffith Show fans on Facebook, and so our primary uh, marketing dollars are spent on Facebook. It's just been what's most most effective for us. And it would take us about. Now we have different numbers. So there's reach where you spend some money and you just get your ad to show up in someone's feed. But then there's people that click the link to go, you know, to go to Amazon or wherever we have, you know, people going. And it only costs us about two, two and a half cents to get someone to click one of our ads. See, three cents, three cents for the underprivileged children's drive. There we go, unreal. <laughs> I was doing some quick math. I don't know if I'm accurate here, but. I felt like, you know, to, to get 1 million people to click through, uh, we could do that for $25,000. Wow. And like reach, have every Facebook uh, Andy Griffith fan actually go like visit the Amazon site and like be exposed to it and make that conscious decision to not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> or watch it, hopefully. hopefully but anyway. watch it. Yes, hopefully. But uh, so anyway, tonight's show, uh, this is uh, there, our thumbnail image. Uh, that is Jason Frederick uh, from a scene from the series. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to bring our guests on. We've got both Jason and Ashley Elaine. Hi. Welcome, Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Alan, come hey. on. I mean, the throwback, the underprivileged. <laughs> Under, I'm telling you, yeah. Yeah, Opie would only give three cents. So. Yeah, three cents. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's fun. So, uh, uh, guys, thanks for joining us. And it was funny. We were chatting a, a moment before we went live. And uh, have you been in, Jason, have you been enjoying our, our latest live streams? <laughs> yeah, Corey, you know I've been. <laughs> I didn't know you'd started back up, so <laughs> I know we uh, we took a little break there. So I had asked, and I said, well, you know. I mean, how long has it been? And Alan said, well, last week. We did one last <laughs> week. So I got to catch up. I got to catch well, up. Now you're back. I'm tonight. thinking of, of putting a little compilation of our, our first few that since we've been back and just kind of reposting that, shorten it, condense it, cut out the fat, you know, because these can get a little long. I was telling Ashley, um, we're going to go for probably, uh, we're going to turn this into a telethon. So <laughs> we've got about 15 donors right now. I want to get to at least 50 tonight. <laughs> so we're not we're not signing off until we reach fifty donors. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'll be here all night. I'll, I'll do it again. We did it at the Mayberry Cafe. Remember that court? You said it was torture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where was that in the behind the scenes? Come on. I, mean, I, true, back and true, true, I didn't say it was torture. The part that was hard for me was you and Stark were both eating ice cream sundaes, and I'm like, I can't. <laughs> all night <laughs> so we like hold up a tote board every time or somebody gives <laughs> yeah yeah we got we got a uh so yeah this is this this is it looks like maburymanseries.com well i want to see that number climb tonight we're we're all here working for free yes. to entertain and inform so uh Maybe you can reward us with a little donation. Ten bucks will reach twenty five hundred Andy Griffith fans. Anyway, so uh, guys, thanks for joining us tonight. And I pulled a few clips so people can get a little glimpse of your work. Uh, but before we do that, uh, Ashley, why don't you tell us what you've been up to, and then uh, Jason will ask you the same question. I have been. Um, I just wrapped up a new faith based movie called Empty Nets. Um, and a couple of my other projects are coming out this year. Disciples in the Moonlight. That also has Brett Varvel, who is a Mayberry man. That'll be out in theaters in July. Um, of course, Mayberry Man, the series, tentatively coming out in May. And then I have a new movie, a dramatic Western, that I am going to film for five weeks in Montana, starting in the end of May. So lots That's of things. Awesome. Yeah. That's Hard at work. Jason, yeah. what's been going on in your life? Uh, I have been calling Ashley every day, begging to get on this new movie she's doing in May. So, <laughs> um, I shot a Christmas movie. Um, that was the most recent thing I did. No, that's not true. I, 
Yeah, well, I did, yeah, shot a Christmas movie uh, for three weeks in New York, and uh, that went really well right before Christmas. And um, I was going to say that's the last thing I've done, but no, I actually did a uh, Brett Varvel and I did a, a short little promo video a couple of weeks back. The vegan gringo himself. <laughs> and um, yeah, so he was directing, and so we shot this little promo together. So that was really that was really cool, just to to hang out for the day and and uh, yeah, just reconnect, and it was, it was great. That's great. Yeah. See, see, Brett has kind of an advantage now because he's got this whole slate of films that he hasn't made yet. Vegan Gringo, mm -hmm. Slick. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Satan's Game Plan. You know, there's... We give the people what they want. We want to see these films, you know? <laughs> yeah, and of course, who could forget Shingletown? Uh, Shingletown. <laughs> yeah, my mom won't let me watch Shingletown. Classic. Yeah. You know what? My mom just jumped on the live. Hi, mom and my brother. <laughs> Hi, Josh. <laughs> I have my family watching right now. Um, so let's, let's, hey, uh, hey Court, I yeah. watched a movie last week. Does that count for anything? I, just, <laughs> well, I, didn't, yeah, I didn't even ask you, Alan. What you, what you <laughs> uh, so, um, I'm going to show a clip. I promised clips. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show a click, a clip. This one, uh, if I can find it here, this was, uh, I'll set it up for you, uh, Jason. So this is a little Jason clip. This is Jason's first, well, second scene, first time you speak in the series. So uh, you've, mm. you've, just, you've just gone to Mayberry Fest. You've come back from oh, Mayberry yeah. Fest, and you're talking to the mayor of Melville, the neighboring town uh, next door. To and I wasn't too happy with Mayberry Fest, if I remember. You didn't seem to enjoy it. So let, let's see what you have to say about it. And the audience is eating this stuff up. Barney's up there talking about some some one need a person. They're rolling in the aisles. I don't get it. And Floyd, oh Floyd, who knows what he's saying? Well, as soon as we get, and then the bluegrass music starts up again. Tell you the truth, it makes me wish I was born without ears. I mean, these people are living in another world. <laughs> <laughs> You pretty much were able to like insult everybody that's been a key part of this project in that one. Yeah. Year. And that's what I want to do tonight. So, no. <laughs> I, well, I, I got to tell you, I love one of my favorite lines of any of my scenes was the Floyd line in that scene. <laughs> where I said, who knows what he's, who knows what he's saying? Floyd's always like, when, when, mumbling. I, yeah. I, I love Floyd, the original Floyd. And, uh, I love Alan in this because he just does such an amazing job as Floyd. Yes. Yeah. And Alan, you've kind of thank really you. Here, here's here's some yeah. money for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got three. But Alan, you've kind of like really used really that hard device hard. to your advantage over the past. Course. Oh yeah. yeah, the fact that Floyd can get away with anything—that is one hundred percent. I've I have messed up during live shows, and everybody thinks, "Man, that was so good." Yeah. So good. They don't know that I I messed up because <laughs> you know they there. think that's Floyd. Floyd would have done that exact <laughs> thing. So yeah, it's a get out of jail card for me for sure. Oh yes. wow. So uh, we'll be fair, and uh, we're going to show an Ashley clip here. So now this is. Um, a scene where, so if, if you're not familiar with the series, it kind of picks up where the movie left off. And uh, so we kind of left off that Chris Stone and Ashley have some sort of relationship, uh, you know, but we don't really know where it goes. Well, we pick up in the series, uh, Ashley's now going to uh, depart Mayberry and spend some time out in California to be closer to Chris. So uh, this is her arrival in uh, California, so got to find it here. This was the clip that we talked about. Um, and so she's actually gotten an apartment in California. And so she's showing up at her apartment. Let's see what happens. And she's meeting the neighbors. I should let you set this up, Ashley. <laughs> no, you did great. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. So how long have you been acting? Oh, no, I'm not an actress. I just moved here from North Carolina. My boyfriend lives out here. You ever thought about acting? She's got a great look. If you're looking for that girl next door type, no offense. <laughs> hey, you actually are the girl next door, Kate. <laughs> oh, you made it. 
How's your drive today? Not too bad. But wow, there's a lot of traffic in well, Los welcome Angeles. welcome to LA. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you're here. This, um, this is... Chris Stone. How you doing? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I think uh, when I look back at the schedule, I think Brett was actually just arriving from the airport. He was. He ran into that scene. That's, he did. That's how really. close it was cut. Yes. It was also supposed to be shot in summer, right? That's why I'm wearing a tank top and shorts, and it was 50 degrees. It was cold. It was yeah. cold. It's usually you're okay shooting in, I think it was November, right? So usually yeah. it's pretty mild weather in November. We shot uh, the movie. We shot a couple of our LA scenes in November. It was beautiful. And uh, it was unusually cold that morning. <laughs> it was. So I was like, oh, hi. And then you have to act like you're warm. <laughs> <laughs> Acting. Acting. <laughs> So that was Christian McCartney playing Levi, the neighbor, and uh, Quincy Lee. Um, you had a few scenes with them, Ashley. Was that, what was that like? You were kind of out of Mayberry and doing sort of different types of scenes, you know, as opposed to playing off of the quirky Mayberry folks. What was that like? Yeah. So my character, Kate, I mean, she is, you know, she grew up in Mayberry. She lived in Mayberry her whole life. She loves her family Mayberry and then she takes the leap for her relationship to move to LA and um, she's the fish out of water this time instead of Chris Stone and Mayberry it's Kate in LA so um, but luckily she meets the best neighbors and Christian McCartney who plays Levi is so funny Quincy I mean they're both they're both great but Christian it was hard to keep it together you know he's a professional comedian so he's just a riot on set it was great and a face made of rubber uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so, and you joined us, Jason, out in, in Los Angeles, not to be in Los Angeles scenes, but uh, we had to yeah. drag you out there. Do you do you remember why? You know, that's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I was like, I know I was there. I don't <laughs> know. It was because we shot some of the office scenes out there. I exactly. Think, right? But yeah. we, you were supposed to, there. all your scenes were supposed to be shot in, in Indiana where you yeah. lived. And, That's right. Um, and we had a big, there was a big court case or something going. A location a issue. Yeah. Case. A little murder trial in Danville. <laughs> yeah. Just a minor, minor <laughs> issue. Yeah. Yeah. Heard they had snipers on top of the buildings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They didn't want a shooting down there. But anyway, there was other kind of shooting possible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, that was great. It was great to, to join everybody out there. And, um, you know, just even in the intro, watching some of those behind the scenes, uh, some of the scenes and the footage of that is just, it's so cool to see that. I, I love behind the scenes stuff anyway. Sometimes I enjoy that stuff more than the actual movie itself. But um, yeah, just seeing that stuff, it's just, it, it just, I don't know, warms your heart remembering some of those cool moments. And just, I will say, you know, the Mayberry cast and crew is just such an amazing group of people and i think um the heartwarming stories i think the behind the scenes stuff the what you see i mean that's really what goes on and that's not always the case on projects but it really is a an amazing family yeah we definitely got uh, the outsiders you know from the film industry that were on set uh i mean they went out of their way to to comment that it's, it was a different type of production than they're used to. Absolutely. And, uh, that speaks highly of everybody that was involved. And uh, a lot of Mayberry people were involved. I mean, mm -hmm. they worked behind the scenes, they worked in front of the camera. So we tried to keep the Mayberry spirit going, uh, even though we're working hard. So uh, I got another clip here. Uh, this was early in the production process and uh, People don't really know who your character is, and I don't know if we wanted to say too much, but you don't seem to be a big fan of Mayberry no. and uh, the Mayberry culture. <laughs> so here's here's where you get held up a little bit uh, on one of the uh, country roads by some Mayberry folks. Let's uh, let's see what this is about. Uh, yeah, I'm heading back to the office now. Great. Now what? Come on. Sorry.
Sorry, mister. Whatever, Jethro. Move it. Has people ever heard of a grocery store? Unbelievable. So <laughs> angry. <laughs> it's just nasty. Oh, we yeah. gotta get some Mayberry spirit going. Uh, yeah. I mean, you yeah. Let's see. Sure. When did we wrap on that? I've been through about four months of intense anger management counseling, <laughs> uh, which is why I'm happy today. But <laughs> I, I love the way they looked at you as you drove by. It's like everybody just stopped and watched you drive by. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I mean, I, I think we've already said that Jason's the likable villain in yeah. this series. I yeah, think we can say it that much. We've said it. We've exposed it. So. You're likable. I mean, you're still likable. Yeah. You're angry. <laughs> I think at some point in the future, you know, he's going to need the Chris Stone treatment. He's going to have to be trapped right. in Mayberry and then That's help right. discover the Mayberry spirit. Yeah. Okay. Here's I like hope. that idea. Yeah. Yes. Here's yeah. hope. Did I give you any idea where you were from, or did you? Were you from? Who, who are you? No, <laughs> well, I think you that's like, that's kind of interesting story? because you yeah, the backstory. I don't really know if we have. That's not really fleshed out. So well, then you've got you've made it up. Then what is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to reveal that. Yeah, I wouldn't reveal it. That's cool. Path. Yeah, that, that's that was. Cool. Well, we do know you're a, a, a developer, and developers right. are always. <laughs> wow, well, that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So someone asked a question: Will Ashley and Jason be coming to any of the upcoming Mayberry events? Oh, that's a good question. This is a good time to to make a plug for Mayberry comes to Scottsburg. I'm glad you you called that out. So uh, I don't even know. Well, you haven't been watching the lives, Jason, so you don't even know about this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. That's why I'm here. I literally just showed up. I was like, I got to find out what's going on. So there's a Mayberry Festival in Indiana in June, yeah. and we're going to do a screening of the Mayberry Man movie and the series. Oh, uh, nice. and you're invited. All right. Uh, so well, since I, you're not up to speed, be awesome. let's let's uh, let's just watch the promo and and then we'll come back and talk about it. Now you know. There it is. No excuses. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. I am filming though this new Western movie during the whole month of June. So uh, I won't be able to make it. But Jason, I know Brett's going. I'm trying to get I'm still I'm trying to get in on that movie <laughs> really in June, which I mentioned earlier. But I'm trying to get you in too, Jason. Don't worry. <laughs> so so yeah, June June 21st to the 23rd, uh, we're gonna be doing a screening. Uh, this is the tentative plan, uh, screening of the series on the big screen, uh, which is going to be a rarity for this because it's a TV series um, on the big screen on Saturday with a meet and greet. And so, yeah, we want to get as many casts there as possible. So, Jason, if you are available, put that on the calendar. Yeah, and, that's great. And I think, Alan, I saw you put that in the chat, too. I did. Yep. I but, put a and I, said, I love reading some of these comments. I mean, people yeah. are throwing in some Mayberry, you know, Andy Griffith lines. And I mean, come on, this is great. Oh, yeah. And Alan has has trained the Mayberry fans very well with I his podcast on episode <laughs> 4038 or whatever it is. <laughs> They're a very active chat room crowd. It's, yeah. Um, they can multitask. I can't even look at the comments, you know. That's, that's right. they're yeah, great. They're not, when great. I do a live recording of my podcast, they, they really don't listen to me. They just talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Nobody knows what you're saying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like Floyd, right? Yeah. What does he say? I don't even know what he said. Yeah. Well, I, I, I do want to give an update on the uh, the marketing fund. We did have a donation come in from <laughs> Craig, who played Walt in the original movie, yeah. and he's got a little kind of update the, in, uh, the series as well. So thank you, Craig. We appreciate your yeah. support. And uh, see, this is how you know you're big time. It's when your actors actually pay you to <laughs> support the project. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're big time. So yeah. um, thank you, Craig. Appreciate it. So again, that's a, uh, oh, you know what? I almost forgot my uh, my banner. The crawl. Oh, oh there you go. Production value. Ooh, yeah, production value. That That's every dollar you donate. We can do better production value. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let that go for a second. But uh, let's bring up, a, we should go to another Luke clip. Why not, right? See more of Jason. Yeah. Mm. And then Jason, I mean, this might be all of your scene. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. That, that could be it. This uh, is like three out of the five, I think. <laughs> now, there's, there's several scenes we just simply can't show because there's too many spoilers, but I've got one more that we'll show here. Let me get rid of this. Well, let's play it with the banner. Why not? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Very what loose telethon. Here we go. Official. Consider it a done deal, sir. You know, that's great. I know I picked the right man for the job. Yes, you have. You play golf, right? Are you kidding? Love the game. Hey, the next time we meet, it's going to be on the 19th hole. <laughs> now you're talking. Pam, run out of lunch and buy me some golf clubs. Yes, sir. Oh, and uh, find out what a 19th hole is. Okay. <laughs> well, that was my friend Rod Duke in that scene with yeah. you. Uh, he plays the businessman that you're talking to, going to play golf. Yeah. 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 That was, so, Jason, did you ever figure out what the 19th hole was? <laughs> Pam never got back to me. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> Uh, Pam, terrible secretary. You should have fired Pam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no Pam. <laughs> no Pam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, so I'm going to go back to, to to plugging our fundraiser since we're running out of clips here. But I'll, I'll, I got one more clip ready to go. All right. Um, but what we're really looking for is a title sponsor for our pre-release online screening. So for all of our backers, we're uh, at all levels of our Indiegogo campaign, um, we're going to do a pre-release online screening. So we're going to turn this into kind of an event with a virtual meet and greet and things like that. And so uh, what we really need uh, to help us out with that is a title sponsor. That means like your business presents the online internet world premiere, basically. Um, so we're hoping to get some help with that. Uh, we've uh, picked up at least one sponsor so far, but some some other sponsors. You can these are ways to you can promote your your business to our over I think forty five thousand followers. Then we have this collectors pack, uh, which is an autographed copy of the shooting script from the series. Uh, you'll also be invited to the virtual meet and greet. Uh, the Mayberry Man playing cards, which uh, Jason, I believe you're like the ace of spades or something. That's pretty. Pretty cool. I think I got left out. Me and Pam are nowhere to be found in that. Oh, no, you're in the <laughs> cards, Jason. Uh, and Jason. And you get a poster. And uh, again, this is most, you know, this is about, you know, supporting our marketing fund. And uh, but you can get some fun, some fun uh, goodies there. And then just uh, if you want to be part of that virtual meet and greet uh, at the hundred dollar level. And then there's uh, just if you want to pitch in. Uh, the pre-release online screening. Now, everybody that donated to the campaign already will be invited to the pre-release online screening. So don't feel like that's something you you have to do if you're one of our regular supporters. Uh, but then we also have like a donate at any level for as little as $10. So, and yeah, I may sound like a broken record, but uh, $10, I told you. ten dollars will help us reach, uh, you know, 2,500 uh, Mayberry fans. Yeah, I'm looking... I'm looking for my ace of spades. I can't seem to find it. Wow. That looked, maybe it was the way the camera it looked like a jumbo card. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, it was the camera. Wow, look at that. 
I have not seen. What? No, no. Huh? You got okay. you've been out of touch. I have not seen those yet. So I don't know how you got the information. Oh, the queen. The queen of, of, heart. Heart. of course, she would oh, be the queen of hearts. Of course. And in red, because we always uh, you know, got to roll out the red carpet for Ashley. No matter what. <laughs> These A-list actors. So if you just want to grab a, a deck of the cards, uh, Jason, you might want to write this down. Uh, yes. Weaver's Department Store dot com and you can pick up a deck of cards they're going fast right alan wow. they are yeah they're going very fast it's been pretty amazing uh how fast that they're going so yeah we don't have very many left uh, uh i'm sure there will be a few more available at some of the events we're going to be going to but yeah weavers is getting pretty low at some point yeah well, uh, we didn't I mean, card. here's this is the joker this is <laughs> <laughs> how fitting <laughs> look at that <laughs> What card are you, Alan? Uh, oh, I'm the diamond. I'm the ace of diamonds. Oh, that's a city. Yeah. Somebody asked me, hey, which card are you on? I said, I'm on every card. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look at this. <laughs> that's but, uh, yeah, we they're very expensive for us to manufacture these custom cards. So, um, you know, they kind of carry a premium price. <laughs> but uh, it also means we have very limited inventory. So I guess we can say they're a limited edition. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. So... They're very nice. They come, they come in a nice little plastic case as yeah. well. So they're, and they're like legit cards. You know, it's yeah, like they're very they good. They, they shuffle plastic. well. Yeah. They're uh, slick, you know, so you can deal with them. Great. Right. Years of, of enjoyment. Mm -hmm. That's well, right. I know you had, you had some from the movie. So mm -hmm. obviously, yeah. I mean, this is like the second revision. Yeah. What we figured out was if you put 52 people on, a de on the deck, You'll sell at least fifty-two cards. <laughs> yeah, so. it's part, it part of the methodology. Yes. Oh. We need to put more group shots on there. <laughs> Jeff Barry just joined the chat. He's going to get his cards. I'm going to order some tonight. Hey, Jeff. He, he better. He yeah. better, better hurry. Yeah. Yeah, we're running. We're running out. They're on. They're a popular item. <laughs> And you still have the movie cards as well, I think, right? We do. We still have the movie cards. And uh, and and really, we're not kidding around. It really, if you want these cards, you better hurry because we, Weavers doesn't have very many because people have been buying multiples a lot of times because they're buying one for themselves and then giving them to other people. This is, oh my God. <laughs> this is one I like. Of, uh, wow. Chris Henson. There's Craig. Yeah. yeah. In, That's in, great. In the jacuzzi with the uh, statue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Clearly, people had no control over which image we used of them. <laughs> that was a Stark's decision. <laughs> well, and and, and uh, Peter Denham made the Ace of Clubs. Oh, That's look great. at that! Of course. Yeah. Wow. So those are fun. There's Jeff Barry. There he is. There he is. Two of Spades. Yeah. Well, deuces are wild. <laughs> All right, let's see what what uh, we have one more scene stashed uh, around here somewhere. Um, oh, while you're looking for that, I'll tell I'll tell Ashley. Hey, people have been asking me about the series, and uh, they've actually said, "Will Will Chris Stone? Will Kate be on there? Will Kate be back on there?" And I was like, "Yes," and they're like, "Oh, good." Yeah, that, was, that was their answer. <laughs> oh, for for the series for season for the one. series, yes, for the series. They were wanting to make sure that you would be back on there. We are, yes, our relationship is, it's moving forward. So watch season one to see what happens. It gets, exactly. it gets uh, more intense. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's a scene where Kate is actually picking up her car oh. from, uh, from Marty. <laughs> Uh, he may recognize as uh, a Gomer tribute artist. Let's take a look. Hello? I'm here to pick up my car. Sam! Boy! That oil filter is on tighter than a bongo drum. Hi, Marty. Hi, Kate. I got your keys right here. You know, some folks just don't know how to take care of their car. Oh? You take this car. What a mess. She's going to need plugs, points, bearings, valves, rings. Oh, I won't bore you with the details. Well, what about my car? Oh, I just topped off the wiper fluid and put some air in your tires. Thank you. You know, water and air is free. I sure am a little jealous, though. I'd love to drive across this great big land of ours. 
Have you ever seen that there great big corn palace? What about the world's largest ball of twine? You know, in Idaho, they got that potato hotel. <laughs> I don't think I'll have enough time. Well, what about the world's largest fork? You gotta see the world's largest fork. I've seen that big fork. Ain't it something? Maybe next time. My keys? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Well, you just make sure you tell Chris Marty says hey. I will, and thank you. You're welcome. Bye now. Yeah. I don't know if I would trust my car to Marty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this just in uh, from Miss Weavers, there's 23 packs of cards left. That's holy all we have. Holy. I'm telling you, we're really running low. Okay. okay. We're not going off the air until we sell all the 23 <laughs> packs tonight. So, the, so Ryan Ryan was in that scene. Uh, yeah. you guys. He was my roommate out in California. He stayed with me out there. He, 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 I thought, I think that line, he said, I, I've seen that fork. I just, I just, <laughs> yeah. I love that line. <laughs> I love the long, awkward pause between yeah, the three of you. That was great. You did, and that they just let it happen, too. Yeah. That they just let that kind of, in case, like, yeah. What am I, what am I, my car. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was great. I just want my car. <laughs> yeah. well, but Kate knows how to handle these folks, you know. Yes, she's I, she's she's been doing forever. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's why she's so sad because she's she's packing up and going to LA from Mayberry. So, yeah, got to tune into season one to see what happens with Kate. It's crazy. Right. All right. Well, um, that's all the clips I've got tonight, but oh. uh, although I do have one more clip. Oh, that you'll be familiar with. But um, anything else you guys want to add before we uh, say good night? Well, I think it's just for me, I'm just glad to see you guys. Uh, you guys haven't been. Uh, I hadn't seen you in a while, so it's really good to see you, even like this. So, looking forward to the series coming out in the, yeah, just a few weeks actually. So, everybody will be able to see all the good work that y'all done. It'll be fine. Yeah, we uh, we're getting close. We would like to be able to announce the act, exact date and the exact platforms, but yeah. we are still kind of in a holding pattern before we can give the official word. But uh, I guess that means you'll have to tune in again next week. I mean, but we're but we're really close. Like it's coming. <laughs> Check in every week. And yes, it was so good to see you, Alan and Jason and Court. It's been a minute since I've been on. And yeah. Yeah, you know what, Jason? We didn't get to do any scenes in season one together. I don't think. No, we didn't. So that's no. going to gear up for season two. Yeah, I didn't yeah. do any either. I don't. I, I know it was interesting I, because you know I feel like I feel like we did, <laughs> but we really. Right. And I didn't have any scenes with Brett or with Rick or really anybody. <laughs> so, I tried to keep everyone apart. Really on the yeah. phone yeah. the whole time yeah. by myself. You know, but. Yeah. Right. Well, no, it, it um, you know, like I said earlier, I think just the whole Mayberry um, family aspect of it, it just, it, it's, it's really, it's a great thing. And yeah, seeing you guys and, and just getting the chance to talk about it and reminisce a little bit is, is uh, just one of my favorite things. So I, I love this series. Uh, I think everybody is going to love it as well. And I cannot wait for it to be out whenever that might be soon, soon. Very soon. It's coming soon, everyone. Yes. And don't forget MayberryManSeries.com. You know, go claim one of those cool rewards, uh, become a sponsor, become the title sponsor of, of the pre-release online screening. We, we're hoping to make that a big event. And uh, Jason, will you be available in late April to uh, be part of our VIP meet and greet? That would be great. All right. Yeah. Well, you're in. That's That sounds awesome. And don't forget, yeah, the Mayberry comes to Scottsburg. So... We'll yep. see what happens with that, but that's coming up. Yeah. And uh, all right, Alan, thank you again uh, for uh, being my co-pilot, uh, security blanket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> takes the pressure off. And uh, Ashley and Jason, thanks for joining us tonight. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks, guys. Great seeing you.
Bye. Well, hey, if you just like that clip, hit the like button. There's going to be plenty more. If you want more videos about The Andy Griffith Show, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Shazam! Come on, baby!